Hey YouTube, my name is Paul and I'm back to you with another video. Um, I'm going to be doing some shelves here in the shop. going to be my uh, dismantling shop. We're going to add some shelves. Let me show you what exactly I'm doing. As you can see right here, I got all of these up already. Uh, I do have to lower that top row because my forklift will not, I mean it reaches just right there but the pallet actually hangs down a little bit so I do have to lower them just one notch just like that. I got all my wiring grids so I'm gonna get all of these installed and hopefully today I'm gonna build myself two benches. One right there for myself and then one right there for my employee. Um, his name is Cody so he's gonna have his own uh, bench with boxes that's going to be his kind of toolbox area um this is just our miscellaneous stuff tire machine stuff plugs and this is where we're going to be my toolbox i'm probably going to get one more down the road but as of right now i don't need it so let's get all these up um i'm going to go pull in some more wire mesh get that done um all of that probably where that wall line is, all that is going to be used for um, while we're dismantling things, just using it as a shelf, and then everything above that would be for engines and just big freight items. So all that is also is all freight shelving. Um, the reason I put this in here, um, first of all, I'm not really losing much space along the wall because I got all my toolboxes and everything up against the wall, but above it, I can still get here with my forklift and pick a part um, from any location. Um, and if I wanted to do that in my other warehouse, it was kind of in the way and I have to make my aisles 16 feet between the shelves and they would kind of um, take away a lot of my space. So as you can see right here, it is a little darker, but I hope the other camera can focus on it. So in here, there's just not enough room for me to put all my engines and transmissions, axles, um, subframes, like things like that. All that stuff, which I don't have a lot of it. I tend to sell all my big items pretty quickly. So I really don't need much storage for that. But since I had that room and I thought to myself, well, it might have it might be okay to do it that way that way i have two walls uh dedicated for all my freight items that that way i can get there with my forklift and just kind of get that out of the way so let's get into it let's get all the wiring grids right on the shelves and go from there I got all the shelves done as you can see right behind me got all the mesh wire decking mesh up 
Um, it is a little soft on the edges, but I think he, the guy that sold them to me said they're rated at 2,500, so per deck, which they're still on the shelf. So I think that's pretty much enough for everything I need them for. And the whole purpose of them being here is whenever I put a pallet on it, the problem I have is the pallet sometimes are broken, damaged, and weak. So I don't want it falling through since we are having people underneath of them, um, like that, toolboxes, benches. So right now I'm gonna get these two by fours, build myself two frames, one for this bench, one for that bench. Um, and the way I'm gonna do it is just basically stick framing. And then I'm gonna just have it go inside and then lay the sheet of plywood over the beam and kind of get two benches going because this is uh, 42 from here to the edge of that. And since plywood is 48, I'm just gonna run it all the way since I do have a gap between the wall. That's just so pallets do stick out. Most pallets are 48 deep, so that way I have six inches or so in the back of it for it. So let's grab my um, skill saw, chop some of this stuff up. Um, get it built and fit it in there and hopefully um, get this stuff done today because I gotta get all this organized before I go ahead and start on that shelf so I can move most of those things that are laying around there up on the shelf and whatever goes underneath it goes underneath it so let's get to it So that's basically how I'm going to install it um, and now I'm going to use uh, these screws right here and fasten it to the beam and then we'll just lay the plywood right over it. I think that's going to be pretty good looking bench. It's not going to be really much for um, <clears throat> working on stuff but mainly for keeping small items. I mean anything I can just do on there whatever works uh, because a lot of times you're working on like disassembling a chair or anything else that's small you just put it on there and work on it so that's kind of the idea and also whenever I'm buying stuff that's going to be a new uh, place where I stack stuff instead of my office because I just go to the store buy stuff and then just have it all laying in the office then it's in my way, so that's going to be my new um, office desk. Alright, let's get one more build, um, and then I'll cut down that plywood and get it in.
done for today. Um, I got all my shelves, um, all the wire decking on the shelves. Got both of the benches built. And it's pretty much flush up against the wall. I had, I did have to move the whole rack half inch so there's no gap and stuff doesn't fall through. So, yeah, this is coming along pretty nicely. Um, it is a lot of work, <clears throat> but it is coming along. And the next would be this one. I still have to figure out what I'm going to stack on it and the heights I want to have on them. But yeah, it's coming along pretty nicely. And I do like having all the floor space that I can. Hey Rex, how you doing? Look at that happy dog. But yeah, um, I do want to say thank you to all of you that subscribed. Um, you guys don't even know how much it means to me. And for all of you new people watching, please uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I am going to be doing a lot of uh, organizational videos for a couple weeks. Um, I do read all your guys' messages. I did see a lot of you asked how I ship stuff. That's all. I, I kind of wrote everything down on the list, every question I got. Eventually, I'll get to those things. But as of right now, I do gotta have to get the shop organized to a point where it's functional, it works, and we're starting, we're making money. And then I'll start making all these other videos that you guys have been requesting. I'll leave you guys with this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys stick around for future and future videos. Have a good one, bye.